Biden and welcome to WLTV. I'm Malia and this is Izzy bringing West Biden news for the week of September 10th. Senior year already? It's crazy to think that we're already here. Senior year, so that means college and responsibilities. Girl, chill. We still have a lot of memories to make this year. However, even if we're back in the building, not every single part of the building is open. That's right, Aaliyah. Ms. Nakashima sent us all an email last week informing us about the closure of West Leiden's courtyard. Turns out, students weren't picking up after themselves after their lunch periods. Just as a reminder, please clean up after yourself because we all want to get back out there and so do you. As the lunchroom gets fuller and fuller, students are wondering why the courtyards are closed. Here's Juan Gomez with the coverage. What's going on, Eagles? It's Juan Gomez with um, Eli Cuevas. We're here to talk about the issue between us not being able to eat outside. Um, how do you feel? I feel sad. I don't, I don't get the freedom to eat outside. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that part, but you know, we did some actions that were that were uncalled for, and you know, I think we should establish some rules that allows us, you know, to cooperate with each other. And yeah. Despite of not having a courtyard, we actually did come back to school full time in person and we went ahead and interviewed some students. Hi, so I'm here with a couple of sophomores. Isa, Emily, Paula. So how does it feel coming back to school? Um, I like being back and I like seeing my friends and other people, but I'm not completely used to the whole school setting. Uh, I like being back. I think it's, it feels more normal being back with all my friends. I enjoy actually being in class now rather than being at home. I, I think the change was good. Um, I think being back to school is pretty good and my grades are a lot better. Hey, I'm here with some seniors. I'm Cassandra. I'm Vanessa. I'm Denise. And how does it feel to be back for your senior year? It honestly feels really exciting to be back for a senior year because since it's our last year, we get to see all our peers. And since we're going to go into college, we could get some help from our teachers or our counselors. Uh, for me, it feels amazing to be back because I get to see all my friends and my other classmates as well as um, see my teachers too. It feels great to be back because we can ask for our teachers for help in person and we can also make changes at school like the dress code. Hi, I'm here with... And I'm here to ask you, how does it feel to be back for your last year of high school? It feels amazing. I'm so happy to see all my friends and meet new ones and do a bunch so of other stuff. This is the end of the back to school segment. And I'm so glad you guys appreciate being back at school. So, back, back to the studio. studio. I'm sorry, it's us. Again. Again. So Izzy, how's Sherry going for you? It's good so far. A little frustrating, but it's fun. Well, I hope you have a good season. Thank you. Now we have Javi, Ari, and Pablo who went ahead and interviewed an athlete and a coach to see how their season is going. After almost two years, Leiden students return with an official mask mandate in which students have to wear masks at all times, including in the gym, in the fitness center, and in the we courtyard. We decided to send out a survey via Google Form for our students who participate in physical education to see how difficult they think it is and if they just dislike the mask mandate overall. We also are asking our athletes because they have to wear their masks during practices and games. As you can see, more people lean towards four or five, allowing us to conclude that it is very difficult to do physical activities in a mask. And here are just a couple clips of our girls' volleyball team practicing with masks. And although volleyball isn't considered the most filled with running, we asked the team captain her opinion on this. I'm here with the captain of the girls' volleyball team, Alex Mikolviak, and today we're going to ask her a couple questions about how she feels playing with a mask. On a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult would you say it is to breathe while you're playing? Your Depending on the exercise, um... Like obviously when we're doing like running and like uh, it's like repetitive um, drills, then yeah, it's hard to breathe. But if we have like, if it's really hard for us to breathe, we could go behind the curtain and like as far away as possible from other people and take a mass break. So that's good. Thank you, Alex, for taking time out of your day to talk to us about the COVID protocol. Thank you, Justin, for growing and we'll be back. Go Yield. Okay. And Oscar Ochoa. And today I will be asking them about their experiences with mask and physical yeah, mask activity. affect your physical performance. Well, I mean, there's um, the positives and negatives, but I feel like it's more towards the negative side. Like there's just times where your like mask is all wet and like you're just not you just don't feel comfortable working out and like I don't know it's just not the same. So it would be way better if there was no mask and I don't know it's just better if it's off. Um, I don't really like wearing the mask because when we start doing more like tougher activities and we start to get sweaty and like tired, it's really hard to breathe under the mask because it's like all in your face and stuff. 
Uh, it does keep us safe, but at the same time, it's really hard to do activities with it. Do you guys believe that the school is doing enough to keep you guys' gym classes safe from COVID? Well, I believe that we're too crowded in the gym, and I don't feel like there's proper sanitation, and this is not a safe environment to be around, so I would like to, there could be more sanitation in general, and that's just my opinion. <laughs> I agree with Oscar. I think we should um, like sanitize all the equipment we use after we're done using it. And actually, after almost two years, are you guys happy that sports are finally back at West Lyndon? Yes, I am very happy sports are back in West Lyndon. And that fans are able to go to the games. Yeah, I feel like it's just a great time for fans to like go out and support the teams. And since it was two years without no sports, I feel like there's people like just being happy and just a safe environment to be around. Football season is officially back at Leiden, but there are still some questions on how COVID has affected the sport and the team. So today we have Mr. Anderson joining us to answer these questions. Um, what are some differences of this year's season to previous years due to COVID? Well, I mean, last season was uh, probably the most different because it was in the spring. But uh, as far as the differences uh, from this year to um, let's say two years ago, you know, obviously we have some restrictions put on us um, as far as uh, just keeping separate. And um, luckily the HSA came out and said that you don't have to wear a mask if you're an outdoor sport. And I know that some of the indoor sports still have that. But, uh, you know, definitely tracking kids, where are they at at all times, making sure that, we, you know, we're doing attendance every single day. And, um, you know, just being more vigilant about, you know, what's going on in our surroundings around us. Um, have you cut down um, team sizes due to like the COVID issues? No, it's a good question. Um, we actually had to combine teams because I think a lot of people didn't come out for the sport. Uh, if you're an under-level uh, you know, classman right now, please come out for football. Um, we actually had to dismantle our sophomore team and now that's a JV team, um, which they practice with us. But uh, we haven't had any restrictions as far as numbers because we don't have great numbers. Has there been any problems uh, during the season? So far, so good. Um, you know, I think that uh, uh, we've done a nice job. The kids have done a nice job as far as, uh, like I said, distancing and, and making sure, you know, as much as you can in football, it's almost impossible, right? But, um, you know, th there could be problems that arise. We, we'll just have to take care of that when they come. But so your team, like, got to know each other. Well, you know, I think that in a sport like football, we start in June. And um, we started just after track season ended this summer. And so by being around each other, you know, for three hours in June, doing seven on sevens, uh, you know, at night or whether it be during the day, we've just had a lot of hours to, to be with one another. And um, I think that's how, you know, you develop those relationships with the players and the players with, them, with themselves. Come out and support the Lightning Eagles as they go against Hillsdale South at 6 p.m. on Friday. Go Eagles! Not only has COVID affected football, but it has definitely affected other sports such as cross country. Today we have a uh, cross country runner, Elise Ernest, uh, to answer a couple questions for us. What's up Eagles? I'm here with Alizé. Uh, and what sport are you in? Cross country. How has it been trying to team bond with your teammates? Um, it's been hard because the freshmen and sophomores this year, we've never met, so it was hard getting to know all of their names, and not everyone knows each other, so. Um, last year we were only allowed to have dual meets, so we were only allowed to go against um, one other school and we weren't allowed spectators, but this year we're allowed to go against more schools that have invite meets, and this year we're allowed to have spectators. What is something that you wish would be different with your season since, since it's your last year? Um, I wish I could be ending off the season with all the girls I've been running with for the last past four years because I feel like we created uh, such a good bond. We're, we're good. Fingers crossed. Crazy how COVID did not just only affect our daily life, but also our favorite hobby. Tell me about it. Sure hasn't been the same. Well, I hope all athletes get to see the nail this. I agree with you, but have you heard about the protest that happened September 3rd? Yeah, I did, but can you go ahead and inform me more about it? Yes, of course. Mr. Powers and Denise Cajas made an adjustment to the dress code. A group of students went ahead and got more information over the dress code for you. 
this school year, Leiden started off on the wrong foot due to students not being able to see eye to eye with school district dress code. Due to the disagreement with the girls, since they were not allowed to show any midriff, this has caused a movement and a petition to change what women should be able to wear in school. As the movement believes that women should not be restricted what they should be able to wear, as they believe men will be distracted due to the crop tops and spaghetti straps that women are wearing, and to stop sexualizing women based on what they're wearing. Here are some people who have spoken out about the dress code. I don't think that us girls should be told like what to wear because it's a quote unquote distraction to other people. So I think we all should like say something to that, stand up for that, and stand up for ourselves. And because of the protests, here are some responses from the dean, such as Mr. Powers. Here's what he had to say. How do you feel about students speaking up about the dress code? I think it's fantastic, right? I think that at Leiden, our goal is to um, educate, enrich, and empower. And I think this is a way that we're empowering our students to be able to speak their truth. Um, and I think it's really important for us as administrators to hear their truth and then react to their truth accordingly, right? Um, this is what we want. This is what we want in society. This is, this is what we want for for kids once you leave here to be great adults and speak about what you think is an injustice. And I think that's really powerful. And I actually appreciate it and welcome it. I'm here with Robert. And I must ask, what are you wearing today and what does it mean to you? A homemade crop top. And it means that anyone can wear anything they want and it shouldn't be sexualized or anything wrong with it. So with students addressing about the dress code to the administration, do you think there will be improvements about the dress code? Um, I feel like there will be improvements if um, everything that the students have said, um, especially today, uh, is taken into advantage. Um, other than that, I feel like there should be, and if there is, um, you know, that would be a, a very good for every student, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Wow, so now I could actually wear my favorite clothes without being a distraction. Literally same. I don't have to stress about what I can and can't wear now. Well, that's it for this week's WLTV. Be sure to come out and support the Lighting Football and Cheer Team tonight at 6 p.m. against Hinsdale South. And don't forget, Go Eagles! <laughs> No, I swear to God, I thought that someone was coming. Okay, Good morning, me. West Leiden. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Izzy, and we're going to be interviewing a couple students about how... Oh! About how it feels... How yeah, I'm going to keep the opening. Leave if you're going to laugh, bruh. I'm going to keep the opening. Hey, W. Oh. You have to use the microphone. My name's, my name's Mr. Pena. I'm one of the new deans here. This is Mr. Powers over here. Okay, no comment. Here we go. Go! That was so bad, but that's gonna have to be it, dude. That's gonna have to be it. Okay, couldn't. I don't.